Um, these are verses, maybe you know some others, but uh, these were some I found. Some verses about what to pray for. There's a few places where God just says, I want you to pray about this. Uh, so has, has everybody got something where they can see one of those? We need everybody, to, can, uh, can we get some more here? Have a whole, oh, they do? Okay. Nobody, nobody looked at me and said yes or no. So, quit giving me those dumb looks. All right. All right. Um, so just take a look at your sheet there. I'm just going to basically kind of read through it, and we'll, we'll try and label each one a little bit. Uh, Matthew 5, 44, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Uh, how would you label that one? Who, who are we supposed to pray for there? Yeah, pray for our enemies or those that are oppressing us. Uh, Matthew 9, 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. He's not really just saying to pray for somebody, but he's praying for something. What's the, what's the prayer there? Laborers. Uh, people to take up the work of the ministry. We, uh, we need to be praying that there'll be men particularly men who will pastor and missionary and that kind of thing, but as well uh, women who will, who will teach and do the things that they can do. Um, Mark eleven twenty five. 25, And when you stand praying, forgive, if you have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Now, what would we be praying about there? Yeah, we're, we're praying for ourselves to forgive is what it is. So a couple of these are, we're actually praying for ourselves, uh, for something to happen. Mark uh, 14, 38, watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. It, it almost sounds like a misquote there, but because it's from Mark, we're so used to hearing it from, I think, Matthew. Uh, what, what are we praying about here? Keep from sinning. Okay, yeah, to keep from sinning. Uh, in studying it out a little bit today, it's talking about not giving in to the flesh. Uh, we're praying about that we, that we won't. You know, the, the flesh really wants to lead us away from the Spirit. And you know, we learned that verse, uh, this I say, then walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh, Galatians 5.16. Um, and that, that's what we're praying about there, that we won't give in to the flesh, but that we'll listen to the Spirit. What about when you're feeling down, that well, then you, that's, that's a good one to pray. Uh, Lord, help me not to give in to the, to the flesh. Romans 15, 30, Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that you, try, that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. Now, what do you think you'd be praying about there? Yeah, praying. I, I put it as praying for Christian leaders. Praying for your pastor, praying. You, you know, in our little church, there's certain pressures, but you know, there's some churches, man, they've got, the leaders have real pressures, and some guys are missionaries, and not only spiritual things, but physical things, and you know, praying, uh, praying for those that are in spiritual leadership. It says, "Now I beseech you." Beseech you. That means I, I strongly encourage you. Philippians four six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. This is pretty simple. What does he tell us to pray about? There's a song in our hymnal. Pray about. Everything. We can, we can pray about anything and everything. And it's important to remember that there's nothing too little and there's nothing too big for us to pray about. Uh, we can pray about everything. Here's an interesting one you know. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 and 18. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Maybe it didn't quite fit into my category, but uh, uh, what, what are we praying for? Or what's, what's our... Give thanks. Yeah. Yeah, we need to be, be thankful. Praying for... Probably the word for doesn't go in front of it, but uh, we're praying thanksgiving. And as well, just having an attitude of prayer all the time. You know, realizing we, we walk with the Lord. Yeah, I'm not taking comments right now, okay? 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 and 2. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, 
that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. This one fits the four. Who are we praying for? Okay, for the leaders, leaders. And, and for all. You, you get that all in there as well. We've giving, been praying for all men, for kings and those in authority. We need to be praying for those who are in leadership over us in our government. And then the last one, James 5.16, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So who are we praying for there? Self. Praying for one another. Okay, you can pray for yourself, but that, that, one's, that one's particularly talking about praying one for another. You pray for me, I'll pray for you. And we need to be praying for each other. So we're going to just be spending some time in, in prayer tonight. We'll, we'll start off by praying together. And uh, I thought we'd, we'd start by praying for our missionaries. Now, some of you know who they are. Some of maybe you don't. Uh, but uh, you know, we support the, the Paneros and the Evans, uh, the Crows, uh, the Surrettes, the uh, Kaufmans. And then we have some, some home missions, uh, the Luzes. And we don't support some of them anymore, the Jacksons and different ones, the Bible College. Uh, so let's just take some time, and uh, what, what, I'll, what we'll do is, if, if you'd like to pray for, some, for a missionary, you just pray out loud, and we'll pray with you. Um, don't pray a long time, just a, just a short prayer, uh, and then uh, as many as would like to, um, maybe I'll get to, uh, Alice, would you, would you start us off, and then uh, whoever would like to pray, and then, then I'll close. We just, this time, we'll just take time to pray for our missionaries.